Imagine that your brother is visiting from out of town. You haven't seen each other in a while, so you're enjoying each other's company, just shooting the shit. Then he starts acting strangely and runs out of the house. He has a history of mental illness, so you're worried about him and you want to get him some help. So you call the cops because that's who you call when you need help, right? Well, the cops find your brother and then murder him. Joe Prude doesn't have to imagine that because that's exactly what happened back in March when he called Rochester, New York's police department to help his brother, Daniel. This poor guy is in desperate need of help. He's walking down the street and not only is he unarmed, he's unclothed. He's fucking naked, begging for help. And what do the cops do when they find him? Immediately pull out a taser, point it at him and yell at him to get on the fucking ground which he does. He complies with all of their commands, even lets them handcuff him, no problem. Then the cops leave him on the ground, face down, naked, as they make fun of him. And instead of giving him a fucking blanket or a jacket, they put a hood over his head. They said he was spitting, so they needed the hood to protect them from his spit. But he wasn't spitting at them, he was basically fucking drooling. And that's the moment it all went to shit because he couldn't handle it. He started freaking out, begging them, please take this hood off my head. I can't deal with it. But the cops don't do it because the cops love wearing hoods over their heads in their free time. And they just assume everyone else does too. After lying face down on the cold, wet ground for a while, Daniel sits up. The cops knock him back down. One cop pushes his head into the ground with both hands. Another cop kneels on top of his back for over three minutes. At least four other cops stand around and watch. Six cops for one naked, mentally ill black man. Eventually, Daniel stops talking and stops moving altogether. But the cops are still laughing and having a good old time. When the EMTs arrive, one of the cops asks if he should take his temperature, then points at Daniel's ass. Get it? Funny joke. Regular Rob Schneider over there. Oh, by the way... You just murdered someone, Deuce Pigolo. So now, six months later, after video finally came out of the incident and there were mass protests in Rochester for the past few nights, the cops have been suspended. Not fired or arrested, suspended. And Daniel Prude, who wasn't hurting anyone and he wasn't resisting arrest, he was just in need of help, has become another unarmed black man dead at the hands and knees of uncaring ghouls who are still getting their taxpayer funded salaries because would rather fund violent police departments and let them handle every single thing than properly fund mental health care in this country. The cops will not help with a mental health crisis. They will only cause a mental health crisis. Defund the police now. You can do it!